Okay, so um, my name is uh, Ro Chuan Liu. I'm going to speak about uh, periodic Galois orientations and uh, phi gamma modules, the capital gamma. <coughs> okay, so uh, so we begin from uh, a, uh, a prime number p. So a uh, a periodic representation of GQP. So which is defined to be the absolute Galois group of QP, the QP bar over QP, is a finite dimensional QP vector space equipped with a uh, so continue GQP action. We call this V. So V is a finite copy of QP. So uh, we equip the V with the uh, the periodic uh, topology on QP. Okay, so this is a periodic representation. So now we define this Figa modules. We need to introduce some more object. So we define OE to be the set of uh, power theories. Sorry, F equal to AI T to the I, I in Z, and the AI is in ZP. The periodic norm of AI approach to zero as I approach to the negative infinity. And uh, it's not hard to see that OE is uh, so periodically complete. And the Russell field K is uh, FP double round bracket t. OK, and let e to be the uh, fraction field of OE. So uh, we can equip this OE and e with the Galois action such that, OK, so to define action. Before to define action, we need to recall the periodic cyclotomic character from GQP to ZP cross. Uh, it's defined by the condition that g mu equal to mu to the chi g's power. And here mu is any element in the set of piece powers rules of unity. And g is in a Galois group. So uh, it's not hard to see that a chi actually reduced to a uh, character on, on the quotient group gamma, which is the Galois group of QP adjoint all piece power of rules of unity of QP to ZP cross. And uh, the kernel we define to be H, the kernel of uh, GQP to gamma, so which is just the Galois group of uh, QP adjunct of piece powers rules of unity. Yes. Uh, yes. Oh no. Yeah. Um, yes. Then we define a, a Galois group, a Galois action on OE by um, by the formula that GFT equal to F. 1 plus t to the chi g's power minus 1. So uh, it's easy to see that the h acts trivially on, on OE. So, uh, so this action induced to reduce to action of, of gamma on OE. And also we define forbidden action on OE by the formula that the phi f t equal to f1 plus t to the piece power minus 1. Oh, oh sorry.
Okay, so the first the basic theorem in the theory of Fika modules is the following theorem. Due to Fontaine and Vintenberg J. I think it's in 70s. Okay, so, so, so <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I, okay, so so our system is, is just a special case of their theorem. So namely, you have this isomorphism of H equal to the Gala group of the FP double round bracket T. So uh, this is kind of an amazing theorem because on the left hand side. This is a Galois group of some uh, characteristic zero object. On the right hand side, it is the Galois group of some characteristic P object. So I think this kind of phenomena may be first discovered by you. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not sure. I'm OK. Sorry? I see, OK. <coughs> Okay, but proof you using the the Tate Sen, I mean ramification theory. Okay, so uh, so by this theorem, so we can extend the action of GQP to uh, the maximum unramified extension of, of the LE, the completion of, of okay the theorem, and we can also extend the phi action, but but uh, okay, this is not by this theorem. OK, so uh, given the actions of phi and GQP on the maximum and ramified tension of, o of OE, we can define the FIGA modules associated to the representation. <coughs> so we define, <coughs> we define dV to be the tensor of is the, uh, the maximum and ramified tension of E. Then we'll take the H invariance. The tensor product is over QP. So GQP on acts on both two objects. So we will take the H invariance, the quotient at gamma, axon on this object, and also phi axon this object by phi a tensor b equal to a tensor phi b. So phi acts truly on the representation. So in this way, okay, so I forgot to say that phi gamma equal to gamma phi. So in this way, dv becomes a phi gamma module. So uh, this is namely the FIGA module, okay, so over E, okay, be because the, the H invariance of this maximum unrun fact tension of, of E is just E itself. This is this means finite dimensional, so E vector space. Um, we call this D, equivalent of is a uh, Semilinear, continuous, commuting, the gamma actions. <coughs> okay, so I've, one thing I forgot to say is that in the rest of the joint work with Candelaria, so we have uh, another geometric explanation of, of this isomorphism. We use the, the, the analytical geometry of, of the Archimedean spaces. So by this method, we, we, we expect we, we can finally get a generalization of Fontaine's FIGA module theory to, to, to local system over general base. <coughs> okay, but, but the concept of FIGA modules is too broader to characterize the, the dV. So actually we need the sum definition called et al. So uh, the phi gamma module <coughs> D over E is called a tall. So if there exists a uh, phi gamma stable 
OE lattice M can tend in D such, such that the twist of M by the Frobenius, which is we denoted by phi star M, defined to be the uh, OE tensor M, and with OE here, we are phi. Here we view the OE as the OE module via, via this phi action. So we basically twist this M by the Frobenius. And there is a canonical map from the twist to the original M. So the, action, the mapping is A times D maps to A times phi B. And we require this isomorphism. This map is an isomorphism. Okay, so this is Etonius. Basically, there exists a uh, OE stable lattice such that the twist is isomorphic to itself. Okay, so uh, so now DV. It furthermore and it half the gamma module. So to do this, we choose T, the GQP stable ZP lattice of V, then DT defined to be the H invariance of T tensor with the LE. It gives you M, gives the M in the definition. Okay. So we see that the DV is a tau. So basically, on the Galois side, you have integral structure. Then on the FIGA module side, you should also get integral structure. OK, so now we can state that the The basic fundamental theorem uh, of figure modules, which is due to Fontaine, I think in 91, as far as I know. So there's equivalence of categories from the, the periodic representations to the eta figure modules. Over E. And this is uh, the, the functor is v to dv. And furthermore, this is a rank preserving equivalence of categories. Okay. So, uh, so since this is, a, this is an equivalence of categories, so in principle, so every invariant on the Galois side should be recovered by the FIGA modules. So the natural question is, is to uh, recover the, the periodic Hodge environment introduced by Fontaine using FIGA modules. So to do, to do this, we need to introduce other two types of FIGA modules, but very quick. So uh, the rubbering to be the set of oh, power theories. So with co QP coefficient, and such that it is convergent on some annulus with auto radius one on the annulus r less than or equal to the absolute value of, of t less than one. Okay, for some r bigger than zero. So in other words, R is the, the direct limit of, of all analytical functions, which is convergent on some, some annulus inside of the open unit disk with, with outer radius one. <coughs> and we also define the E dagger to be the intersection of R except with E. So this is not a very good notation, but we use it here. Uh, and uh, so, uh, so we can define So we can also define the figure modules. Uh, we can also define D dagger V, which is uh, it all figure modules 
over E dagger. So I won't speak much about definition because I don't have enough time. Uh, and the derig v, which is basically the base change of the dagger v. Uh, and uh, and we, we, have the, we have still have the equivalence result, which is due to many people. This is Shibonier, Kermis, and Berger, and Candelaya. So how equivalence of categories from the periodic representations to the uh, so it all figure modules so over E dagger and R and by using these equivalence of categories so we can finally recover the Fontaine's Invariant DDR V decrease V, etc. From this derig V. Okay, so this is discovered by Laurent Berger. Okay, so now I have a, I have introduced all the basic series. So apparently, a Figa module should uh, looks more simpler than the Galois re representation because to define the Galois representation. You need infinite many matrices. For each element, you need one matrices. But for Fika modules, you only need two matrices. The first one is the matrices for the forbiddenness action. The second one is the matrices for the topological generator of gamma. So usually gamma is percyclic. But you pay the price that you, you have very large the, the base field. Okay, uh, and uh, because the Fika module looks more, more explicit. Should, should it be possible to recover some to, to, to discover something which is not easy to see in the Galois side? So one example is Professor Comis just uh, established the long lens type correspondence for two-dimensional GQP representation. So I guess we can learn more in his lecture series this semester. So I will end up this talk with a much more simpler example. So namely the computation of Galois cohomology. So because you have equivalence categories, so you should Computed the Galois cohomology of the representation V by the Fika modules. So, uh, and the, the result is very easy to state. So, you choose a topological generator, little gam of big gam. And uh, you define a, a complex we call the C phi gamma D it's from zero. Okay, I forgot to say D is a phi gamma module. Okay, so the map is uh, phi minus one, gamma minus one, and this is x y maps to gamma minus one x minus phi minus one y. Okay, so the theorem is, I think this is proved by F in 98, and some other cases by me in uh, 2007. So there is a canonical isomorphism uh, of the Galois cohomology of V to the uh, cohomology of this complex. C phi gamma D for O D equal to DV D dagger V and D rig V. And by using this equivalence, so I have proved this for, for this case and uh, I proved the other two cases. We call SUDA. And uh, by using SUDA, so I have given another proof of, of the 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 euler punker characteristic formula and uh, the duality. Uh, and another interesting question is, I mean, this co this, th this complex is defined for all, all the figure modules, not on only at all. So uh, actually, we still have. So 
So we still have the uh, we still have the the, the character formula for, for general here we like D is the figure module. Over the rubber ring. So we still have this the cohomology of this complex is finite dimensional. And uh, and this cohomology satisfy the the Euler Punker character formula. And the duality. But this is not true for figure modules over E dagger and E. Okay, so I think I should stop here.